Guys, before any elevation comes in, the first thing that happens is judgment. Now, in God's way of doing things, there are three kinds of judgment. Number one is when God judges leaders for being in, for being corruptible, for bringing foreign gods in a country, just like in the old days, and leaders who mislead people, they get into judgment so now that God can provide them with leaders who can take them to where God wants. Because with God is about freedom and prosperity. God's love for humanity will never change. Number two kind of judgment is when people have been given good leaders, but they disobey and the leaders become frustrated because their goodness is being taken advantage by the people they are leading. So people worship other gods, they bring in the land, other gods, and God judges the people and spares the leader. Number three, is when now the leaders and the people all worship foreign gods, uh, soil their land, you know, cast their land with the worship of idols, and then the entire generation gets judged, like the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, the time of Noah, you know, the Noah when God washed the entire world because uh, there was a lot of corruption into the world. There was a lot of bloodshed. Now, the kind of judgment that is happening right now is against leaders who defiled the armies of the Lord with foreign gods. Any leader who has bowed to idols and foreign gods and has and have, been, have insulted the people of the Most High. You remember when David said, where who is this uncircumcised Philistine that has defied that has defied the armies of the living God? Now God has raised that David in this country. Uh, who is you and me who stand in the gap and say, who are these people that have defied the armies of the living God by defiling the land with foreign gods? Now, this is where we call upon justice. By the way, the, the blood that has been shed in this country for a very long time for people to get into office. I'm telling you, this is the time for judgment. Leaders will be judged and are being judged like you have never seen. So, my people, I will tell you, continue ascending in prayers. The battle has been won already. The Bible, the word of God, I told you, even the, even the kingdom of darkness reads the Bible upside down. For every principle in the Bible that is of light, the darkness manipulates that principle to its advantage. And that's why Messiah Yeshua, when he was on earth, he was tested with the word of God by the enemy. So because the word of God is the center of every power, because with his word, he said, let there be. All things are created by his word and through his son. And I told you who the son is. Everything came to be. So the judgment that is in this country is for leaders and anybody who has bowed to idols and defied the holy land. So my message to you, continue ascending and be still and know that he is God. The battle is not ours, but is the Lord's for the earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. And when Daniel realized the time of captivity had come and he stood in the gap, then God did wonders. And so we have realized that our time of captivity is over and we have called upon the name of the living God, the creator, the source of our lives, of our lights. Okay? So we are calling upon him to let uh, to to, to, to render justice in this country. And by the way, in the spiritual realm, it's already done. For you now, be still and know that he is God. All these enemies you see, you will see them no more. There is a time for everything under the sun. A time for everything. Now the battle is not ours, but the Lord's.